Hold on. Captor Clash. Captor Clash is bribing players for five star reviews. What? What is Captor Clash? Captor Clash is a brand new game. No, it's not a brand new game. Okay, it, it is a game that is rated 2.8 stars. 2.8 stars. So this game is is actual horseshit. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way first. This game is trash. So many people have been covering the game in the last 24 hours. Is this a new release then? It's rated two stars. They're claiming they are bribing players for five star reviews. So this is, this is from their official Discord. Attention captors, we have an exciting event for you to participate in and win exclusive rewards. All you need to do is rate Captor Clash on the App Store or the Google Play Store and take a screenshot of your five star rating. This is what Dislight did. This is also what Nino Kuni Crossworlds did. Head over to the hashtag rating event channel. Submit the following information, your user ID, your in-game name, the screenshot, including the exclusive picture showing your five-star rating for Captor Clash. Do not use screenshots taken by others. The event will run until June 10th, so make sure to submit your entry before the deadline. If your screenshot qualifies, our moderators will DM you an exclusive code containing 500 Sky Crystals. Please note that the code can only be used once. Also remember that the hashtag rating event channel is only for event submission. So their event, they're claiming that this is actually an event. Their event is go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, leave a five star rating. So they are, and they give you 500 crystals as reward. Now I will note here, what you could do is you could go to the, the Google Play Store, you could leave a five star review, you could take the screenshot and immediately change it to a one star review. That is something that I would 100% urge you to do after reading this, but this is a, disgusting abuse of power before we go any further i just want to take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons you guys allow me to continue to play games like this for a living and i can never truly repay that kindness also if you're interested i stream over on twitch every single weekend you should totally come on over and join me so google in their terms of service okay um let's see uh Terms of service, uh, hmm. Terms of service, should be under manipulation, I guess. So, let's see. Developers must not attempt to manipulate the placement of any apps on Google Play. This includes, but is not limited to, inflating product ratings, reviews, or install counts by illegitimate means such as fraudulent or incentivized installs, reviews, and ratings. Incentivized installs, reviews, and ratings, including using text or images in your app, title icon, developer, blah, blah, blah. They literally state here, do not incentivize fake ratings or fake reviews. Their event is telling you, you will get exclusive rewards for going to the Play Store and leaving fake reviews. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, I don't know what goes through the minds of these developers when they're doing this. Like, why would you risk potentially damning your entire game? If people cover this and bring it to the attention of Google, 
it'll get removed. Like the entire game will be blacklisted from the store, all because you want to, you want to try and fake your ratings because people think your game is trash. That's it. Wow, trash devs don't care and do it anyway, yeah. Exactly. I wonder what Reddit's saying about it though. Rate it five stars, send a screenshot, get the gems, change it to one star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I said to do. End of service speed run. <laughs> I mean, that's a fast way of killing your game, 100%. Report it to Google? Yeah, and you only get 500 crystals? Yeah, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, so not only are they, uh... Are they trying to manipulate players into manipulating the ratings on Google, but they're also <laughs> fucking stingy. <laughs> you get less than two pulls. <laughs> It's not allowed on Google's Play Store. It's literally breaking the terms of service. Yep, yep. They're literally digging their own grave. Yep. Disgusting. Yeah, so people are upset with it. People are definitely upset with it. But this company, the studio, the game, it is so dumb. I can't believe that they're... <sighs> You'd think they'd learn, right? If your game is shit, it's gonna be shit. If your game is good, like Honkai Star Rail as an example. If your game is good, people are gonna play it and people are gonna talk about it. People are going to promote it to their friends. Like, if your game is shit, no amount of manipulation is gonna change that. So, just, you know, the solution to this is just make better games. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks, you know, the solution to remedying bad ratings and bad reviews is to just not make a game that would generate bad reviews and bad ratings. Maybe it's just me that thinks having a good game would generate positive buzz and good reviews and good ratings. I can smell the odor of crawler.